Ramble. Thank you to Rosetta Stone, Green Chef, and BetterHelp for sponsoring today's episode. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, it does really touch your heart. <laughs> oh my god! What the heck is everybody? Welcome to Guilty Pleasures. You got the gang back together. Yeah. Oh yeah! The gang's back. The gang's back. Where have you been, Rick? I've been on tour. Yeah, you have. I've been. I've been on tour. Flying I've been dick. Sl- <laughs> Jesus Christ. No, I've been uh, slinging jokes, man. That's what I meant. Doing, yeah, doing stand up, and yeah. uh, I saw a lot of you uh, guilty whores out there, <gasps> oh! and that was so beautiful. It was amazing. I'm sorry for calling you guys guilty uh, whores. No, that's but who, that's who they are. They Eric sent us such an adorably earnest text <laughs> and was know. like, "If you ever tell anyone that I was this sweet, <laughs> yeah. um, I forgot to tell you guys because uh, I went to Outside Lands this weekend. My yeah. new favorite thing is someone running up to me screaming with like." Glitter titty saying, I'm a guilty whore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It is. <laughs> and people being like, what the fuck is yeah. going on? <laughs> it is very funny to watch someone call themselves a whore, like <laughs> so proudly. It is. Yeah, it is truly Take one of my favorite things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're yeah. doing a good thing here. Yeah, yeah. yeah this is yeah, a mitzvah are. to the world. We're yeah. destigmatizing the whore. <laughs> sure, we are. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, sure, for sure. Uh-huh. Yeah. That's, That's what we're our doing. Job. We did it. Congrats. <laughs> So not only do you have us back together, but yeah. we're back on our movie bullshit this yeah, week. We are. We're, we're, we're entering the world of international film. I, I think we're going to keep doing some music episodes. It was yeah. really fun. Garrick, you didn't get to do any with us. I didn't us. get to do any. And we, we wanted, we were talking about doing an Usher episode. Oh yeah. my God. And we'll do that in the coming yeah. weeks. So yeah. I think in the next couple of weeks, we'll keep, we'll keep weaving back and forth. We'll go international. Yeah. We'll go music. Uh, I, and let us know. I mean, I honestly, I, yeah. I've forgotten to ask for feedback. So, have yeah, you which, one, <laughs> which one do you like? What more? do you guys think? Have what you enjoyed the music think? episodes? I'm, uh, so, let us know about that. But today, we are entering the world of Miyazaki, one of the greatest artists Period. ever. <laughs> Period. Period. Yeah, End yeah, of yeah. sentence. Done. Yeah. And we're talking about Spirited Away. His I, and I can hear the collective creaming of the audience <laughs> as we said that. They're just oh. like, oh, God, let's fucking go. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my um, God. I'm really excited for this episode one because I've never watched a what do you call this anime? I've never watched an anime. You never watched an, an anime. anime. Any anime? Any you, anime? You guys in my don't life. understand how excited I am. I've been keeping it down because Zach is tired. I'm trying to keep no, my energy ramp it at a up, low. baby. Bring it up, Jesus Daddy. Christ! This is so fucking exciting I for me. Couldn't I've, believe it. I'm, I'm, I'm losing my mind. Like I, I, the fact that this is your first one, you yeah. are so blessed. Wow. That this is your first one, and your first one wasn't like I don't know, Fists of the North Star, which is what I had to Sounds watch first. Spicy. No, it's very spicy and okay. it's very gruesome. And you're like, oh. oh my, you see that as a child, and you're like, well, I guess this is what it is. Yeah. Wait, so you're telling me you've never seen like. An episode of Dragon Ball Z, even. No. You've never seen any Miyazaki. I don't. That, I still don't know what that you, is. You, that <laughs> is the creator it. of the film. Oh, okay. You just said one the word. Director. Um, I usually yeah. get like a first name, last name, basically. Yeah, Miyazaki and Disney are synonymous. Got they it. are. It is the exact same level of, oh, if not wow. more, of. Uh, I mean, I guess popularity in Japan or popularity. Like Miyazaki in as the animation a name space is a <laughs> filmmaking brand. Like he is on the level oh my yeah. of a Spielberg, yeah. right? Holy but shit. in the animation yeah. realm, studio. Ghibli, you've never heard. Of I, okay, Ghibli. so that's what I realized watching this yeah. was like I did not realize how many points of culture this has touched that oh I my have God. seen throughout life. We okay, starting with Studio Just Ghibli. A, I went, hey, I've I've yeah. seen that word before. It's, I mean, well, you probably it's, saw it begins with Totoro, the yes, little character yeah. yes. who's like a big fluffy. Uh, yeah. What, I don't oh my even god! Know what so many is, things but. where I've like I've had sex with a guy who had that tattoo, or like <laughs> right. I so when I went to Japan, I remember those things. I had no idea what the fuck they were. So this yeah. was like very fun, just. Connecting Kelsey dots. turning on the movie and just having like a cum a flashback. Yeah, yeah, just like, oh, <laughs> well, <laughs> I you, came you to know, Totoro. Sometimes you don't want to <laughs> oh, ask God. what that tattoo means because you don't yeah. care. But it was dope. I mean, you should care. You yeah. should care. It's a well, very prevalent um, brand. And I I mean, the, it, bringing, bringing up the fact that Studio Ghibli stuff or like Spirited Away in general is like the Beatles where mm. it's just like, I know that this band is around. Mm-hmm. I know that this band is in 
uh, culture, so embedded in culture that I there are certain things that I don't know are by them. Exactly. And it's like, I, I, I feel like that comparison is, yeah, 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 yeah. I didn't even know those were their songs. Yeah, Spirited Away. But this is, is like the main stage, classy, yeah. Yeah. iconic. Because you gave me a couple options. You yeah, said, do you want the Beatles with Spirited Away? Yep. And then I couldn't tell you the other um, two. What were they? Your name is Taylor Swift. <laughs> <laughs> And then Akira is Metallica, which is what exactly. I feel like I'm going to want to do T-Swift next. You right? want to do your name? That's, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm pretty excited for you to watch that one, too, because that is a, a tearjerker. That'll, oh. that'll grab at your heartstrings a little bit. This was a And then tearjerker. Akira will just make you appreciate um, art Aww. in general. But. Wow. So Miyazaki, I, I, I don't know that this is his best film. I don't know that it's his most famous film, but I think it's... Oftentimes, where a lot of it, this was his one of his crossover events, yeah, where he was regarded by Americans at least as like, oh, this is a serious fucking filmmaker, yeah, and it went out of the the niche of people like people had known Totoro, they knew Howl's Moving Castle, yeah, uh, Princess Mononoke, but then Spirited Away, like I, I remember it crashing into America, yeah. one. Uh, best animated feature, oh. I think two thousand one, mm -hmm. um, and it feels like a really good entry. Like it's just an At all the around. Uh -huh. Wow! <laughs> it is. Cool. It is his most. It is his most pop. pop is it? it is, is okay. His most, too excited. It is his most popular. It is his most famous. Uh, Spirited Away held the record for the most, right. the highest grossing Japanese film. Whoa! For. 15 years it, or something it like that? It outgrows Titanic. Holy yeah, it outgrows fuck. Titanic in Japan. Yeah. Okay, so I take back. It That's is definitely it's, the it's, most it's, it's, it's most popular. Yeah, for sure. But on that top 10 list, he has a couple on there. Because it's just it's he's just so fucking prevalent in that wow. society. What's it's what's his deal? What's he like? Oh, Who he's he? um, depressed. <laughs> <laughs> you, I don't know if you've ever seen the memes, but it's always like him rubbing his face and having oh. a pencil in in one hand, and he's just drawing, and he's always talking about how art is pain. But the mm. only reason why he does it is because he loves it and all that stuff. And I feel like one of those lines were lifted and put in the bear, and I was like, oh, that's cool. But <laughs> <laughs> yeah. honestly. Yeah. I could see a lot of like depression and anxiety in this movie, specifically no, the part where the little girl is crying while yeah. eating uh, like sticky rice. I was like, oh, it absolutely. Made bun, <laughs> oh, that bun, God. dude. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I, I was hungry the entire time. Yeah. What Are a mistake to watch this yeah. without eating Japanese food. You have food. to eat Japanese food. Y'all yeah. yeah. should have warned me. Anime, order it for breakfast. Food. Anime uh, food. Let's Are, are we doing it. this? Just go synopsis? for it. We're just going for it. How, yeah, yeah, synopsis? Yeah. How the fuck do you want me? You There's a little girl. She gets enters lost. the world. She, she's, on, she's moving to a new town. Yeah. They enter through a tunnel to a mystery abandoned world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Her parents are tempted by food. They eat the food and are turned into pigs. <gasps> At night... Uh, all of these spirits arise and it turns out she is in a spirit world and in order to stay there and not turn into nothingness, she must uh, enter work. And uh, yeah, th none, of this, none of this plot matters. I mean, this yeah. is like a, a modern Japanese through the looking glass. It's yeah. like ah. a Lewis Carroll odyssey yeah. of it. adolescence yeah. and anxiety and fear and growing up and uh, plot to plot, uh, you know, it the points. Matter. There, there yeah. are plot points that happen. We'll talk about them, but I'd say this is a this is a real vibe movie. Yeah, mm, it, it it wins mm. off of vibes the same way that um uh not I don't want to say Alice in Wonderland. I, I mean it's it, Alice in Wonderland is esque. It's Wizard of Oz esque. Yep. Um, it's Euphoria esque. It's Whoa! Like, where it's just like I mean from from point to point, it's like yeah, this doesn't really make sense. Euphoria. But I, I'm in here for the vibes, you know. <laughs> but yeah, that it, it's it's truly a sensational piece on growing up and mm -hmm. like from 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 point a to point b you see the growth of this character in such like a simplistic way mm -hmm. it's just like she's scared to do anything mm -hmm. at the end of it she will do anything god <laughs> like damn she, that was the first note i wrote was like holy shit this girl needs some ssri <laughs> <laughs> she is fucking anxious yeah. as hell she's got a codependent attachment style to her yeah. parents which Spoiler alert, I wrote at the end of this movie, her parents are a tiny little, bit abusive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a I'm, little... It's giving Matilda. It's yeah, giving yeah, Harry yeah, yeah. Potter under the staircase yeah. stuff. Like, she was, I'm not a big fan of the parents. Yeah, she was... Um, They were doing a lot of, like, um, we're going to live our lives. Selfish. Come on. Come on if you want to, yeah. but don't, like don't worry about it. Kids. If not. Yeah, yeah, you didn't want kids. Yeah. Ch Chihiro's dad, hear me out for a second. Yeah. 
he can get it? Yeah. Oh, he can get it. Yeah. Okay, I just want to make sure we're on the same page. I was like, I was like, oh, shouldered man. Dad's got credit cards and cash. Not not doing it for me as much, but Jahiro's dad. He's got credit cards and cash. Credit cards and cash. Why is that not in like a rap song? Yeah, the credit cards and cash. Jahiro's dad. Yeah. (laughs) Imagine getting fingered by Kamaji. Oh my God, (laughs) Miles, who are you? You Kamaji, did, which did one, who is Kamaji? Did the spirit of me just jump the into The dude with you? multiple arms. <laughs> oh, oh, the fucking um, boiler man. Oh, Are you saying that? Oh, spider cocaine yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, the boiler yeah. man. I wrote Kamaji. So Kamaji is this dude who works in the boiler room. He's got like grandpa. eight arms. He's like yeah, a spider. He's, he's a spider. got a big um, uh, yeah, uh, we don't Sonic know how the Hedgehog mustache. Yeah, yeah. He looks like Dr. Dr. Eggman. Robotnik. Robotnik. Yeah. Um, I wrote about him that he has the vibe of the old dude at a goth club who's dating a 20-year-old blonde woman. <laughs> yeah. And you don't know why he's hanging out with all of you and your friends, but he also has the most bomb molly. Oh, yeah. yeah. And of you're course. like, yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah. From him. Yeah. He, is, I, he is the connect. I, yeah, I feel like he has nipple chains. <laughs> Does that make sense? Like, connecting the chain. So <laughs> unassuming until you're like, wait, you're the guy that started, like, ACDC? Yeah. You're the guy? That, like, yeah. he's responsible for so much. Mm-hmm. Kamaji is uh, his only... claim to fame is directing one Panic at the Disco music video. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He only speaks in whispers. Yes. Like he always whispers to, in your ear. Or something and you're like, like that. does he have dementia or like why is he just mumbling to himself? But yeah, it's, it's, it's like, all calculated. It's, it's all calculated. It's yeah. all him doing like some. Form I mean, you of bring process. up a good point too. Like the character introductions in this was. Oh, I great. wrote down like one of my favorite things because holy fuck, there's a lot of characters. Every, everybody that. has their own little world also where you meet them. It's almost like in a game where mm-hmm. you're just like. This is the hub world where this guy lives. Oh, very this is where game. the witch lives. Yeah. And this is where um um Haku. Haku. This is where Haku, Haku lives. Haku, a little okay. boy. Wait, yeah. The hard pause. Yeah. We gotta talk about Haku. We gotta How old is this man? Oh, you trying to say oh, you can oh, get Haku it? is, <laughs> is he at grown? least Twenty thousand years old. He's okay. a Whew. he's a river. Before I talk about he's it, a, he's, he's a river, river dragon. He's a river. Like, so he's, he's old. He's and how ageless. old is our main character? Ten. Oh, yeah. Ten. Okay, because I was very fucking confused the whole time. I was like, they're gonna kiss at yeah. the end, and then I was like, <laughs> no, oh, this them. is a sp- grandfather spirit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's no like sir. kind of a love story, but it's unclear it's like, if he's a boy or a man, and he's also a dragon. I yes, think. I, like I that. think in a in in the sense. Or in the way that it's smart is um, every time that she wants to be tender with him, he's a dragon. Every time she's right. not tender with him, oh. he's the boy. See, to if make he's some, not a dragon yeah. so like, and a man, I don't want him. Because then it's like a pet <laughs> thing where it's like rather uh, than. Like a Pokemon. Like, I lo- yeah, I love my pet so much that I touch it face to face. And then on the other end, it's just like, okay, this is a 20,000 year old man in the in the body of a boy. Yeah. Gets away with a lot All there. you can do is hold hands. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> gets away with a lot let's there. Let's ease our way in because, again, as Kelsey said, there's so much plot and characters, not that the plot is all that uh, important, but we, we enter we, we enter this movie. We're in a car. Um, oh, yeah. Uh, we're our, in an Audi. Audi oh, Quattro. Oh, we're in a, we're in a re- we're rich in a daddy. Audi What's his dad's name? Oh, I don't remember. Yeah. Who knows? Dad's name. Yeah, dad. The heroes move into a new town, yeah. and it takes me all of two minutes to sort of pseudo forget that we're in an animated movie. But beyond yeah. that, just like relish the majesty of how beautiful the oh art of this movie is. I I could really go on like the the entire episode about mm-hmm. how well this is animated. Mm-hmm. Literally, if you pause at any point. During the movie, Watch. you are you are just your eyes are a fucking feast yes. of of detail and of of fluidity and all of that stuff. I mean, not in the pause moments, but in general, <laughs> when you're when you're watching it and you're just watching the suspension work on the car over the bumps, you're like, wow. Jesus Christ, you didn't have to do this, but you did, and I appreciate it. You bring up a good point. Not once did I think I was watching an anime. No, movie. no, 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 absolutely yeah. not. It's That's just weird, and the way that it's like directed <laughs> is. Perfect. And yeah. of course it is because it was painstakingly drawn. Yeah. But like, okay, so she's in the car, she's looking out the window, and then it just cuts to a shot of the trees whizzing by. Yeah. And I'm like, this is, I I, I, I forgot that yeah. everyone yeah. drew this. I'm yeah. just like, I'm watching this. And then the, there's a wide shot of the car going up this, like turning off an exit. And I know this is a weird moment to like dwell on, but then other cars that are just like extras in this yeah. world are like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. and I'm like, the, the fuck, this is a full world this right. is yeah. a real world yeah. yes. that just happened to be drawn but no this is actually a real world that i am watching yeah and they yeah. happen to capture this somehow yeah. yeah absolutely there is there's that moment where she's looking out the window 
Um, but I, you're, I'm, I'm guessing that you're explaining. And you're watching the reflection off of the window <gasps> of the mm-hmm. trees. And you're like, why is this even in here? Yeah. You didn't have to put that in. We got the fact that she was in yeah. a car window. But he's like, no, 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 man. This wouldn't. Because the way I feel like they were um, at a base level animating at was everything here has to look real because mm-hmm. when it doesn't, we're going to need something that is mm-hmm. grounding. Which is you right. know? most of the movie. Which is I most thought, of the movie. I'm like, why didn't this man just make a live action movie? No, you can't. You like, cannot. You're making a spirited theme park yeah. world for monster yeah. people. Like you have to, now you could do it, sure. But yeah. 2001, when this came out, I'm like, holy fuck, he didn't have any other choice because what was in his head had to be drawn. Right. You talked about the level of detail with like the suspension on the car. Right. There's one shot when they're they're walking through this abandoned uh, theme park early on. So, okay, they, they go up this like abandoned road. They see a tunnel. They enter the tunnel and now they're in this abandoned theme park and the dad smells food. <gasps> and yeah. there's this one <laughs> shot and he runs up and the the it's like kind of from a low angle yeah. of his like on his pants he runs towards camera and his pants start like normal pants and as he's running as he gets close the seam in his pants shifts and shows the little dangly zipper that is the level yeah. of detail. I didn't know where you're going is, with that. I thought well, I was because it. dangly dick. <laughs> it's He's because, his little dangly yeah, dick like, is out. I was like, okay, no. I really missed that part. <laughs> well, it's because, as I said, the dad can get it and his yeah. schlong be yeah. schlonging. Yeah. So <laughs> that dad's <laughs> packing. That yeah. packing. He's but like, that is, yeah. a, that is not a level of detail that is required. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't need to see his zipper burst from at the all. seam of his yeah. pants it's, because of the motion of his running. But at, that's the level of execution you yeah. get here. Absolutely. Every time I, I, I was I mean, just watching this movie, I go back to that meme of, of Miyazaki just rubbing his face and being <laughs> like, oh my God. Because I feel like all of this was made um, painstakingly. Yeah. And in a way where if he drew something and then noticed that something wasn't there, it was like he he wanted to move on, but had to he go can. back and be like, okay, fuck the, the fucking yeah. zipper we, is not the, the same way. Zipper? If he's at that angle running, he would have a zipper showing. Right. The same way if you like shoot on film and he's just like, God damn it, there was hair in the gate. God damn it, yeah. it was it was it was fucking soft or whatever. So I got to go back. Oh f- no, I don't want to do this, yeah. but I have to. And it's with animation, you can just move past it. Nobody's going to actually yeah. focus on that. If you're, you know, if you're focused off, you have to, because it's just going to be like, oh my God, my, the, the characters, I mean, the, the audience's eyes are going to be fucked up by this because it's going to be blurry. But if you do an animation or, or, or if you're drawing something, you can you just move past to. it. Yeah. You don't have to do all that. But the fact that he did it in general, yeah. or it just because of pride mm. almost, is, or perfectionism. Or perfectionism. Like debilitating anxiety. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, or it's just like, I got I got to put this symptom. in. Yeah. My favorite Jesus. Miyazaki meme is him. He's like chilling in his sunglasses, smoking a cigarette, sitting with a cat. Oh, he's an old man. Yeah. Well, he is now. Yeah, yeah. Oh. And he goes, look at how carefree she looks. You have no schedule. <laughs> 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 and I think that like that is his burden yeah. in life is that yeah. he cares so, so much. much. Yeah, this is yeah. just someone who was blessed with talent that has to share it and yeah. doesn't want to. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't, oh, wow. It's like fuck. God I can't, damn it! It is. It is a burden. It is. You are. You are. A, you are. Um. With with great Did power he comes also great responsibility. Draw this? Yeah. Yeah. Shut the fuck. Yeah. It's up. all hand drawn. He wrote, directed, and drew this. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I is mean, he, not by himself, but I'm sure. Yeah, like, but a team. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. But it's also like, I mean, you guys have talked about the art style a lot. And I think that one thing that, I mean, I watched this movie when I was 11 years old and it changed me forever. Yeah. But I <laughs> yeah. uh, I think that there's something about this movie that is so unbelievably patient compared to American mm-hmm. cartoons yeah. or media mm-hmm. where yeah. like the sequence where she's with no face on the train, mm-hmm. they're going to see Zaniba. It's like yeah. really long yes. and, and, and sad. Yeah. And mm-hmm. That with it, purpose. It really like I don't know, and I think kids relate to it, and they feel like right. that sometimes because they they I think kids experience time so long. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, not, yeah, yeah. They don't have the like the, the, the there's some study that your your brain um, as it ages automatically cuts out dead yes. space so in it your feels faster. so, it feels, so yeah. time feels faster and all that stuff. But as a kid, you don't have that skill, so all of these moments feel long Mm -hmm. so watching a long moment is long and you like you're 
you're relating with that because you're like, man, train rides. Now I feel it. Train yeah. rides yeah. fucking suck because they take so long. They take yeah. like an hour or driving uh, to my, my cousin's house yeah. that's in the valley takes an hour f for, for real. You, yeah. That's like forever. And so time. seeing that portrayed on camera, mm -hmm. you're like, oh, wow, this is this is how I feel when I wait. This episode is brought to you by BetterHelp. I feel uncertain all the time. <laughs> it's just, I think it's my base state. Coming up with a great idea, then waking up the next morning and questioning it, or laying down my head on my little pillow and just being like, what am I, what am I doing? That's why it is so unbelievably important to me to have a sounding board, someone that I can speak to. I don't want to burden your personal relationships with that. And also, you need someone who isn't coming with their own baggage. You need a therapist. If you're thinking of starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try. It's entirely online, designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. I, I never know what I'm doing doing in a given day, let alone hour to hour. <laughs> BetterHelp makes it so easy to schedule my appointments in a way that works for me. Plus, I don't have to drive 30 minutes in traffic to get somewhere. Let therapy be your map with BetterHelp. Visit BetterHelp.com slash Guilty Pleasures today to get 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash Guilty Pleasures. Guess what? I'm a great chef now because I've got the best little chef helper buddy that gives me delicious meals, makes me feel like a fucking like maestro in the kitchen. I'm talking about Green Chef, the CCOF certified meal kit company. Green Chef makes eating well easy with plans to fit every lifestyle, whether you're keto, paleo, vegan, vegetarian, gluten-free, or just looking to eat more balanced meals. Green Chef offers a range of recipes to suit your preference. Yeah, uh, there's a reason they're the number Number one meal kit for eating well. You know we've worked with HelloFresh in the past and we love them. They now own Green Chef. I made a spicy kimchi fried rice with eggs. It was delicious. Little tamari mushrooms in there to give it some pizzazz. Does this sound good to you? Yeah, it does. Riz up your kitchen. Go to greenchef.com slash guilty50 and use code guilty50 to get 50% off plus free shipping. That's greenchef.com slash guilty50. Use code guilty50 to get 50% off plus free shipping. Thing. Green Chef, the number one meal kit for eating well. I'm you know? curious, Miles, because you brought up a good point that I didn't like ask you guys. Normally, we we kind of do this in the beginning of episodes, but like I'm trying to imagine my younger self watching this, like my 11 year old self watching this. And the only thing I can relate it to was like watching Harry Potter for the first time of yeah. like, I can't really explain why it meant so much to me, but yeah. now as an adult, I can. It's like adventure, escapism, yeah. friendship, love, like, mm -hmm. you know, growing yeah. up. Like, what for you guys did this represent? Or like, why did it change you so deeply as a Oh, child? man. I mean, it's so magical. It's sort yeah. of like the way that he sees the world. And like, this is a movie that has uh, spirits in it, mm -hmm. but all of his movies are magical in this way, yeah. even the ones that are mm -hmm. grounded. And he just, when he looks at a place like an abandoned amusement park or that tunnel that they go yeah. through like they keep, they keep doing the shot reverse shot of them walking towards the tunnel and through it and it's like magic it's yeah. just that I love that I was like Every, oh around any corner I could find yeah that. exactly you know yeah yeah, yeah you're same. like out in the woods yeah. looking yeah. for yeah. something million that smells percent, by the like way. bow yeah yes. me and my friends are like literally kids running around being like talking about the spirits and being like oh it's a beat spirit or whatever right. oh. yeah yeah same much. shit here every time I saw like a long time I thought at the end of it was some world. Yes. So you know, fun. it's so you were you're doing the you're on a drive and you're like, oh my God, we're going through a tunnel. Maybe on the end of this, mm -hmm. it's a fucking spirit world. God, I really, really hope so. Or I mean, just <laughs> randomly eat if I ate a a bunch of like different variations of food, still to this day, I think about that first yes. scene. Yes, wow. oh, totally. Yeah, Where yeah. We're just like just literally. picking up stuff and it's like, okay, so that's why I like Korean barbecue now because oh, there's so many yeah, different my favorite. Yeah. Um side dishes. You saying that me I didn't realize that yeah, I was also eleven yeah. when yeah. I saw this movie for the first <laughs> yeah. time and the character is ten years old. I, I found a uh, Miyazaki talking about this movie and he specifically wanted to make a movie for 10 year olds he yeah. had family friends who had a bunch of yeah. daughters who were at that age oh, cool. and watching them he's like my I've made movies for little kids like Totoro is 
for younger. I've mm-hmm. made movies for for older, and he specifically wanted to make a movie about this first, what he called it, the first stage of their adolescence, um, and making a movie that was enjoyable for them. Yeah. And so I don't know what hit me, yeah. but clearly he is was observing something in the fears and anxieties yeah. that that the kids at that age had, and their their desire for uh, yeah. adventure. Yeah, and and to see themselves as heroines also, yeah. but I, I think when I saw it for the first time, it was just this like, wow, <laughs> I, right. this is not like anything that I've seen. Mm-hmm. First of all, the way that it's animated, the way that the story progresses, but I think it does a really good job of tapping into those fears yeah. that you have as a kid. Not in a way that the movie is scary, though it's also not afraid it to be so scary. scary. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> But it, I think it does a really good job of metaphorically representing these different stages as as the writing of Lewis Carroll's did. That's why I yeah. keep coming back to that. Like it it brings you on this journey where they aren't exactly one for one metaphors, uh-huh. but through the entire journey, our main character is able to process all these feelings that she has. And yeah, it's a I think girl. It's, yeah. I was yeah. so pleased because she looked like pretty gender neutral to me until she yeah. started talking. And I was like, <laughs> okay, trying to get some hints, trying to get some clues. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, oh my God, it's a little girl. That excited me so much because in 2011 or 2001, I was trying to, 2001? I was trying to think, girls like, didn't what exist did yet. I have? Girls <laughs> didn't like exist as main characters that powerfully. Yeah. And like her in the end to, you know, take the final challenge, even though she couldn't even walk without holding her parents' yeah. hands before. It was or she didn't, really cool. I mean, she took the final challenge without even needing to. Yeah. Like she just did it just to do it. And I I think that what, what Zach was talking about really like hit the nail on the head where it's just, you're, you're realizing at 10 I feel like that you are getting older. Yeah. And you're realizing that for the first time. You can and get you're a like, job. Oh, God. <laughs> Filling bathhouse pools. Yeah. You're not, I don't feel like you're feeling your mortality, but you're like, no. oh, I shit. did. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you came that into starts, this world like I'm another yeah, day older. Start smoking cigarettes out yeah, the nose. Like, out God damn in it. the nursery. Um, but yeah, you just start realizing that you are getting older and that you are starting to have to learn things and they're not just activities to keep you busy. Mm-hmm. Right. So like her whole journey, I feel like rather than going like point to point, like just the whole middle section of her in mm-hmm. the spirit world yeah. is a metaphor for just adversity. Mm-hmm. Yeah, <laughs> Doesn't matter, like it's a blanket adversity responsibility. Here are things that are gonna be thrown at you and you have to do them, mm-hmm. whether, whether you want to or not. In order to not fade away in this world, you have to do these oh, things. Oh, I could imagine parents being like, oh, what did they change her name to, Sven? Zen. 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 Zen, which means thousand. Oh, so when they're, nice. you know, like she, Zen has to like work or yeah. like she, I can see parents being like, you have to do your chores. What would Zen do? Or like, yeah, remember yeah, when exactly. Zen did the floors or like, exactly. Zen? Zen. The S. Uh, <laughs> or like, remember when Sen had to eat the vegetable or whatever? Like there were so many moments in this they could have yeah. used I to be like, realize... you're a big girl. Yeah. Until you said it back to me, I didn't process the obviousness of the metaphor of you have to work or you will fade away. Or you will fade away. Like you want you to you be a member of society. <laughs> yeah, like, you have to be a member of so- Yeah, you, you're, right. you're starting to join, not the workforce, well, but society of. as the a adult whole. World. Yeah. The adult yeah. world. The adult world. And here are the things that adults are 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 thrown uh, uh, often that you kind of have to just deal with like the um the the stink ghost or whatever or this um the stink spirit the yeah. stink spirit or is like when she, man. yeah or she's like oh my god i got to i i cannot take this smell and then uh, the witch is like you don't insult the guests yeah. if yeah. somebody smells bad don't just fucking be like oh god you smell so bad it's like stop doing that you yeah, be, right. be an adult manners a lot about her manners because the people are in this world the spirit world are fucking mean to her I put yeah. that down they're like yeah. you lazy bum no good I'm like Jesus yeah. Christ she's a child yeah. I was shook I, at first I feel like why, um, Miyazaki was looking at his, his friend's 10 year old daughter and was just like Look at how bad this little piece of <laughs> shit is. Autistic. I gotta make a fucking movie about how <laughs> ill mannered she <laughs> or whatever. We we mentioned the the pigging out scene twice now, but yeah. I want you, Garrick, to speak on the importance of food in anime Ooh. because yeah. anime cooking, anime eating. Yeah. I don't know what it is and why, <laughs> but food has never looked more delicious. No, so it's, hungry. It, it is like everything is is slightly bigger than it needs ah. to be. Everything is always like commercial level 
good looking. Colorful. If that meant colorful. It's always it's colorful. always a huge color juicy. Palette. He it's just juicy. fucking slurps There's, it down. Yeah. Steamy. Un- opens yeah. his big fucking mouth and yeah. just goes and just slurps something. Cheeks, There's always though. this like Ugh. layer of like moisture around Ooh. it, around whatever it is, and then like all all like the chicken pieces Ooh. like melt in the person's Ooh. mouth. It's all it's all about tenderness because I feel like this is this is just a theory. I don't know, but um, the eating experience. Um, in Japan is just so uh, familial based or, or mm-hmm. like everybody comes together at the table and mm-hmm. they eat at the same time. Mm-hmm. And I feel like the way that you can do that visually is by making things look as good as possible and then having a group of people indulge in that. It's also like eat, what I experienced in my two week vacation there is it's <laughs> a very present experience. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're not gonna catch people on their phones while eating, right. at least out in public. Like even right. if you're eating alone at like a single and stall ramen place, yeah. like you are so fucking present. And, and it's I also, think that that's really pretty. Yeah, it's so like doing other doing other things while you're eating. Yeah, yeah. like you're, you, you're, you just said, but. I, I had no idea when I was there, I was eating on the sidewalk, like while walking and oh, I was no. getting like looks and I was Big like, no, why no. am I fucking, oh my God. And that, yeah, yeah that's very, that's very looked down upon. It's very clean, I guess. It's very right? clean. Yeah. yeah. I also like, we mentioned the final challenge she does at the end. I adore that everyone in the bathhouse supports her. It like makes Aww. her yeah. cry. It's yeah. like them all being like, and also Lynn, like kind of becoming her older sister yeah. is such a impactful relationship yeah. her, to me. Yeah. Her giving her the, um, the, the bun. Oh, that yeah. bun? Uh, that it's butt. the best looking piece of yeah, food. Yeah, it's the, the best world. looking food. And it, so it yeah. looks like a, re- a like a taro bun, yeah. Or like yeah. a red bean bun. Red bean oh, bun. I just want to sink my fucking yeah. teeth There's into so some my dumplings. Mouth. I, I don't even want to use my teeth. I just want yeah. my mouth to just go hum. Yeah. Hum. Hum. Yeah. I was. <laughs> I was. <laughs> I just. I want to like try and attack it with my gums and let my yeah. lips. Yeah. Break it apart mushily. <laughs> God, it's almost like there in anime there is a, a quiet competition of how good you can make eating mm. scenes look. Um, there is a there's one called uh, Chainsaw Man uh, that literally has a good like five minutes of this dude just making breakfast for himself Ooh. in his morning routine, <laughs> and it's it's so good. <laughs> and yeah. It just looks so yeah. good for no reason at all. Yeah. No reason at all. It doesn't move the story forward. It is just this guy's routine. Yeah. And you're just watching him make eggs and bacon for himself. And you're like, fuck, man. So hungry. Maybe I need to eat something or maybe I need to do better about like actually cooking for myself. The food it's of this grounding. movie literally curses the parents and turns them into giant pigs. Deeply traumatizing for yeah. a child so to watch. Yeah. And so I'm scary. like, yeah, but that food looks so good. But that food yeah. I would have oh, done the exact so same good. thing. I would have eaten all of that stuff. Yeah. And like, so they're I can't eating even blame them. Constantly throughout the movie, like yeah. No Face or like the monsters or the sludge. Like, there's always food present yeah. in these scenarios. I love No Face. And we should give no uh, some pro. Uh, 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 <laughs> okay. That should have been like, that should have been our opening. Name uh, it. Uh, uh, name it. Uh, okay, guys, <laughs> come on. What yeah. the fuck? What no do you face. think we were going to talk about this movie without me talking about the fact that this absolutely sounds like sex noises like yeah, the definitely. entire time? Yeah. Like uh, uh, even I was like, oh my God, should I turn this down? No one's at my house, but I just feel like yeah. I shouldn't be hearing Oh, you're that. talking about just no face in general? Or? All the noises. Even yeah. her noises are very like, eh. Uh, and I'm like, oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. She's a child, guys. I Welcome think, to I, anime, I, I Kelsey. Think this is a you problem. Yeah. 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 <laughs> no, this made me a little bit uncomfortable. Yeah. Do you think yeah. Welcome that Welcome to the world. You think that anime reaction noises sound like orgasms. Orgasms. Mm-hmm. I'll say that uh, often they do. Yeah. Ha- Hayao Miyazaki, I think, tends to have a little bit less of it, but every other anime yeah. is a little. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you yeah. not seen like the classic anime thing is if like they react, they see something, they go, <laughs> No. <laughs> Uh, I hate this. Uh, All of you stop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, no, I've never seen that. It's fantastic. It's I will fantastic. say with um, the, speaking of No Face, yeah. um, I like that this movie, and I think that again, there's a lot of differences between this and American um, cartoons and stuff, but one of the ones I really like is I feel like the villains, for the most part, mm. all have Pretend reasons. They, they're mm-hmm. reasons. And it's yeah. like, oh, Zaniba is fucking up, you know, Haku because he stole from her. Yes. Yeah. And like, um, you know, the baby is just literally a baby. Yeah, he's yeah. A baby. He's trying to fucking he's figure never, it out. But the baby is going through the same thing that she is. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. It's, just right. like, it's just his version. He just doesn't want to go outside. doesn't want to do anything. sister. Yeah. The, the initial, what is the main witch's name? I, I forget. Yubaba. Yubaba. The, yeah. the Yubaba. initial Yubaba main villain, Yubaba, is this yeah. giant old woman whose face is 
80 times yeah. as big That's as scary. our as our as Sen. And yeah. it's so fun watching her yeah. like her eyeball is yeah. as big as yeah. Sen's face. Yeah. And she she to so to work for her, she takes your name. She mm-hmm. owns your name. So yeah. um I keep forgetting our, our main girl's name, but she Sen. No, Chihiro. I know. Chibaba. Chihiro. 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 So she takes Chihiro's name and says, you are Sen now. You work for me. Yeah. And you go like, this is a mean... Old lady. Evil person. But as you watch the movie, you're like, no, she just is like managing a yeah. hectic she's bathhouse. Managing- <laughs> <laughs> yeah. she's, she's just, just like, like an She's just a boss. good manager. <laughs> <laughs> she's trying to get the best out of her workers. I, yeah. even, even when she does the whole thing with the stink, um, this, the stink spirit... And she rewards her for it yeah. afterwards. Yeah. She's like, I knew you could do it. <laughs> good yeah. She's you. like, good job. Yeah, yeah, good good job. Employee good job. of the month. They, yeah. they present her as evil. And it's like, oh, no, she just has to do her job. No yeah. Face, who is like, in any other movie would be terrifying. Let's, yeah. let's, if, I, I'm sure you've all seen him. If, even if you haven't seen this movie, he's a, yeah. a black silhouette the mentor. With, yeah. with then a, a, a white mask. <laughs> yeah. And the literally white- the, one of the most copied villains of all, quote unquote, oh, villains of all time. Really? It yeah. gotta be. Mm-hmm. Like, I, I've seen that, or maybe this is from like Japanese lore that Folklore, I'm not sure. very well might be. Or, yeah. yeah, I'm not very um, familiar with, but yeah, I, I feel like I've seen that cloak, white mask mm-hmm. everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> and, and he just is like, scream. Scream. The scream came first. Oh, damn. Oh. Uh, so, <laughs> <laughs> this is based off scream. This is based off scream. <laughs> This is actually an <laughs> adaptation of like, the yeah. Wes Craven work. Um, so when you first see No Face, he is standing there and he's just like this fucking specter. Yeah. But I, at least, I was never terrified of him, even as he's nodding, even as he's eating people later. Yeah. And it's there's something because there's a tenderness with the way that he he interacts with our main character and the way that our main character interacts with him. Mm-hmm. And I think that's such a specifically like Miyazaki look in the world and also an innocence of a 10 year old where it's like, Mm. Oh, monsters are just misunderstood. (laughs) And, and like this no face goes on a rampage. He is eating (laughs) like crazy, literally eating workers. He becomes this giant, a giant (laughs) and he's rampaging through the bathhouse and, and Sen just goes like, Oh no, I think the bathhouse drives him crazy. He's got it. He needs a home. Yeah. And like, it's like, oh, wait, you just watched him eat people and you're still not afraid of him. Right. Yeah. And now you're going to have this really tender moment where you give him one of your train tickets and he sits on a long train ride with you. Yeah. yeah. What the fuck? She, she gives him the train ticket back also. Like, so there was a train ticket to go there and then for her to get back from the Swamplands. And she gives him the ticket back. Like, the, the, she, he, he gave her four. And he's just like, this is your, your going and return. And so it's a round trip. And so it's making both of them one way. Where does he go? What happens At the end? Him? Yeah, he stays with uh, Yubaba's sister. Oh, that's right, because he's really he's in, good at weaving. He finds a new home. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I don't understand what the fuck he is and what he represents. And I tried to Google it. And I found some ideas, just some things that I found. So the idea of being spirited away is a Japanese phrase. It's the belief of kamikakusha. Nope. Kamikakushi. Ooh. Probably Mm -hmm. said that way better that time. Uh, And it's this (laughs) idea that sometimes a spirit will take away a child. And through history, that's been used to comfort parents who lose a child at a young age. It's well, it's not good. It's your your kid died, but you know, they'll be like if your kid goes missing, it's like, oh, the spirits it's took them away. away. Um, so that's where that comes from. There is a lot with Japanese lore throughout this movie, and we'll come back to it. Well, you bring up a good point, though, that like a lot of these characters did represent something, mm-hmm. whether it be like an authority figure or yeah. like, you know, a, a burden yeah. or a friend in trouble. Like there yeah. was a lesson to be learned with every there single was, character. In every single situation, like even with being assertive, where he, where he, Haku was like, you have to go and get a job. Yeah. Even if they say you cannot have a job, you have to stand go up and get yourself. a job. That's yeah. Right. You have to stand up for yourself and say, hey, I need to work. I need to work because if yeah. I don't work, I'm going to die. <laughs> hey, you're going to turn me into an animal. I need yeah. work. You know? <laughs> oh, is that what all those animals were? All uh, the pigs. All the oh, pigs. the pigs. Yeah. Okay. Come I don't on. know okay. if it was the, 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 anim- the animal workers at the bathhouse. I think those are spirits as well. But yeah. even like there's, there's stuff like that. And then there's like l- tiny moments for like kids mm-hmm. to learn where 
Oh, the stink spirit in general. I, I'm sorry that I keep on bringing him up, but he's literally one of my favorite characters yeah. in this big, movie. Big boy. Yeah. Um, but he's literally just a, a polluted river. This is yeah. what happens if you keep, uh, trashing, keep the ocean. Th- trashing the ocean yeah. and all uh-huh. that stuff. Your your favorite river is going to turn into a, a stink spirit. Mm-hmm. Or like mm-hmm. if you throw a, a bike into the water, just like don't do that to Haku. Yeah. You know, he's oh, he's uh, yeah. you know he's gonna start bleeding out of his mouth, crazy. <laughs> and then like she she is like, I, oh, is something bothering you? And she like fixes it and gets rewarded. Yeah. There's like a nice little metaphor. Yeah. In there. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. She like helps him get the thing out of his side, yeah. which ended up being a bicycle. It's a, it's also, a bike on your whole work trash. thing and growing up and like the adolescence, her starting to forget her childhood and her forget her past yeah. is so yeah. like to me yeah. like. Yeah, like she is working now, but don't forget the magic of of your old life. Right. Like mm-hmm. that's the really important stuff. And then yeah. I think that's true in a lot of Hayao Miyazaki's work. It's so much of it is about youth and remembering, you know, to right. be play. Yeah, you know, play. And there's probably yeah. I I if I think about this deeper, I'm sure we can connect a lot to the idea of identity and identity formation. Because mm-hmm. No Face is literally mm-hmm. a void of identity and understanding. Mm-hmm. Right? He is. He has no face. He is a black void. He put a mask on himself to yeah. try and say like, look, I am friendly, I am uh, loved. And then he goes about trying to get love with in all stuff. the wrong ways. Yeah, and yeah. Here Gold, is money uh, or here is the thing that you want. If I give things, yeah. then you'll like me. And yeah. it's mm. only once, you it's, know, he, he he goes crazy. He becomes a monster in trying to be like, it's trying be to, like everyone else. No, trying to buy friendship. You yeah. can't, yeah. it turns you into a psychopath. Yeah. If you try to like just give money and then think that mm-hmm. this is what's going to bring people or wow. bring you food and, and friendship and all that stuff. It's like, no, you have to do work. Yeah. <laughs> you, know, you have to be of ser- like, not ha- have, yeah, you should be of service to friends of yours mm. in order to get that service back or that, mm. that uh, familiarity or that friendship the love yeah. like that unconditional love that yeah. she gives him the most terrifying big baby of <gasps> oh, all time oh god so scary. play with my arm or i'll cry <laughs> or yeah. i'll break your arm i'll, I'll break, break your, your arm. arm if you don't play if with you me. don't play with me hup, i will hup, hup, hup. the scariest baby i have ever mean. laid eyes on he's pretty mean but he's just spoiled <laughs> he's yeah. giant he's a giant he fucking ba- he's literally a, a big building. baby yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> literally a big baby will not leave his 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 room will not leave his Pillow fort, um, which very comfy looking looking pillow so fort. Comfy. Again, another thing with the detail, the pi- you, you do a pillow fort, fort or whatever. It's usually the same pillow. It's mm-hmm. a normal pillow. Every fucking pillow was different. Yeah, all of these are different assets. All of these yeah. are different things that needs to be uh. hand drawn and colored in a yeah. different way, in a pattern in a different way, and layered in a different way. Even when they move, it's insane. Why do I want to learn a new language? I love to travel. I love to meet new people. I love to get off the beaten path. And when you're doing that, it's great to know the native tongue, to be able to speak a different language. It also just helps keep your brain sharp, keeps your brain smart. My wife's family speaks Spanish. I want to be able to speak to them. I also want to be able to know when they're talking smack about me. That is why I got Rosetta Stone, the most trusted language learning program available on desktop or as an app, and it truly immerses you in the language you want to learn. Rosetta Stone is going to immerse you in many ways, not just translations. You're going to really learn to speak, listen, and think in a language. I love how it's an intuitive process. You get to pick up language naturally, first with words, then phrases, then sentences, building on what you've learned. It's a $299 program, but with our code, you get it for just $179. Don't put off learning that language. There's no better time than right now to get started. For a very limited time, our listeners can get Rosetta Stone's lifetime membership for 40% off. That's $179 for unlimited access to 25 language courses for the rest of your life. Redeem your 40% off at rosettastone.com slash guilty today. I mean, yeah. this is such an it, obvious thought, but like when you watch a modern, like that kind of the modeled version of, yeah. a, of a movie, yeah. those movies that are animation, like when they're fully rendered, yeah. so they can move anywhere around the environment anywhere. for the most part. Yeah. And like it's the lighting is rendered, like their textures are rendered in this Every frame yeah. is different. Yeah. It has to be a different like painting, basically. Yeah. yeah. Which is so crazy. Can't yeah. believe they made it's movies like this. Insane. I it is pretty difficult to think about how they make movies like this yeah. in general. Because 
you have to do a mock-up as well. So you yeah. can see how the light scatters on this type of fucking pillow. <laughs> anyway. Gar Garrick <laughs> loves to speak about the disrespect of animation. Yeah. And yeah. this Absolutely. assumption that everything should be live action and, oh, you only animated it because, oh, either this means it's, it's for kids or right. it's easier or whatever. Yeah. And I would argue that it is just an art form and a well way to tell the story and that a movie like this has to be animated, not just because of the subject matter. Yeah. Sure, you could make this with CG, but it would be shit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It would suck. And I think about, there's this one scene where uh, uh, Sen is first going down to the boiler room and she's on this giant staircase. <laughs> oh my God. And she's like slowly <laughs> going down one step at a time. And it builds this tension that I was thinking, I was watching and I'm like, if this were live action, this wouldn't make sense. No. It would be boring. Yeah. I wouldn't feel the way I feel now. And then what follows is pure animation magic yeah. Yeah. where, okay, so you have tension, right? She's like, uh, like trying to go down one mm -hmm. step and then she falls, dunk, dunk, dunk. Yeah. And it turns into her full sprint, oh, full sprint. running yeah. down the and stairs. Just, oh my God. They, I, hands up. Yeah, that's hands always, up. Like, that's always a gift. I, so if you, I think if you, if you look up Spirited Away gifts, yeah. that is one of them. If just her running down the stairs, yeah. like, oh, like, like scared out of her fucking mind. And then bam, yeah. she into smacks wall. into a wall, into a wall. <laughs> and then <laughs> slides <laughs> away. So you have tension, relief comedy, and all of that is exclusively the language of animation. Yeah. Yeah. I put my favorite part that I laughed so hard was when she gets like air yeeted across the palace when she's visiting Yababa for the oh, first yeah. time. Yeah. When she's like, hurry up. And she's just like, nee! yeah. oh, I oh, when swear she gets to pulled. God, yeah. I have never laughed so hard. I was like, I have never seen that. And what the fuck is it? Yeah. I don't care. It was fucking hilarious. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. can't do that in live action. Yeah. Okay. Favorite characters. We talked about going down to <gasps> Kamaji's boiler room, but can we talk about his little squiggle? They eat colorful stars. That's when adorable. I texted the boys and I said, Oh my god, I love this movie! Yeah, they're Are they fucking, they're co they're ashes brought to life. They're yeah. soot. Yeah, it's, it's just soot balls brought to life that if they stop working, they go back into soot. That's so sad. I think that's maybe the only through line that <laughs> in any Hayao Miyazaki movie yeah. is that oh. there's soot in a lot of them. Mm. Oh, Howls, really? there's soot in Totoro. Oh, okay. There's uh, there's not many that link them, but I'm pretty sure that the soot spirits are in almost all the, of them. The yeah. uh, soot cinematic universe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I I don't I know if you. I'm using this right, but I feel like our little our little soot balls are so baby girl coded. Very. Oh, yeah. <laughs> baby girl. Baby girl. Oh God. <laughs> They that's they, so baby girl. You haven't heard that? No. They hate to work. Yeah. Oh, oh. they hate working. They just want to give up and they're work. They're so cute. The, the, the second that they see that Sen will bring drag the coal for them, they all pretend to get squished. <laughs> that yeah. was so fucking funny. They're all like, oh, look at me. I'm helpless. Oh, yeah. I can't do anything. Baby. And then they all walked over to her and just like, hey, um, you're take, the new master. They're like, yeah, you're the new master or whatever. You're the new uh coal master. And them the first one doing it and then she brings it and throws it over and then they're like they get the idea like what if we all just like fucking die at work wouldn't that be cool and then she doesn't do it and then they're like I'm walking over to you and I'm dropping the shit at me, your feet me, me, me. you better fucking do it or else yeah it's so funny that was like also too when I realized that trying to explain this movie to anyone is like a high thought and you yeah. responded mm -hmm. back like this entire movie yeah. is like a high thought yeah, and you're yeah. like Oh my God, you're right. But it's also so rich with like story and lesson yeah. and memorable characters. Right. But maybe that's why drugs are important. <laughs> well said. That's fun. <laughs> there you go. Because I, I, I definitely feel like you are, you aren't as lost as you would be in most films because the character, the, the main, the lead is lost yeah. as well. So mm -hmm. you're just like, I'm here with you. Yeah. And we're also discovering this world that doesn't make sense to us, but it doesn't matter because yeah. you are being thrown at these act activities and you're right. You're overcoming them. It's a fake world. So you the, can do yeah, anything you, you want. You can do whatever you want. Yeah. It, there's, there's no, no rules. There's no rules. There's no real lore yeah. or there's a lot of lore that, that doesn't make sense that doesn't really track from right. from um from scene to scene but it doesn't matter because mm -hmm. she doesn't know either. Yeah. So you can really throw so much at that. 
I love those little puff balls, man. Little puff balls. Do you guys know what the fuck a radish spirit is? I love that big fucker. He <laughs> oh, yeah. was huge. He has the radish big ass, spirit. Big ass titties. He has titties for chin. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah. I, oh, God. Honestly, thank God you said that because I didn't know if I was going to be the pervert. I wrote. <laughs> Say big ass titties? I wrote, usually what the for hell me. is a radish spirit? Tauntaun looking elephant seal ass with saggy titty face <laughs> and a deviated septum. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Jesus. Jesus. God damn. Why that was as detailed as this movie. Good yeah, God. Read. <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand Read the radish spirit. Yeah, real, I don't get it. I don't get it, but I loved them. Yeah, because radishes them. don't look like that. What Rad- part of a I radish mean, looks r- like that? Radish spirits do. There I you mean, go. Maybe it's the weird radishes that kind of grow um, in tandem if they're close to another radish, oh. and they come out looking all weird like that. Mutant the radish. Grass. Yeah, mutant radish. All right, I'm about it. I think that we should talk about some fun facts. <gasps> yeah. Oh, wow. Tell me some fun facts with Zach's back. <laughs> These are hot off the press from our very own Rainy Toll. And I peeked at the first one and it shocked me. Oh. I don't read these before I say them. Yeah. Oh, nice. wow. Off the cuff. Here we go. Uh, so first of all, this is... So what I'm about to say is similar to what Miyazaki does with his other works. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So this is just everything he does. And this is surprising as hell. He made the movie without a script. No. Yeah. What? That makes sense. Quote. I don't have the story finished and ready when we start work on a film. Why? I usually don't have the time. So the story develops when I start drawing storyboards. The production starts very soon thereafter, and the storyboards are still developing. It's not me who makes the film. The film makes itself, Shut and the fuck I up. have no choice but to follow. Yeah. That's See, cool. Okay. Um, so, I fucked with that. Okay. And I'm, I'm it, not as crazy to me now as I thought going yeah, in. Yeah. So the big, the big, the, difference between animation is there are s- board driven things like traditional children's animation and then there are script driven w- which are usually adult animation and those are the ones that are c- covered by wga mm-hmm. and then um the board driven ones are covered by iatsi because literally you are just doing storyboards mm-hmm. and then having either your animator or your director coming in and just doing scripts on it or like do wow. filling you're filling wow. in word bubbles essentially <sighs> Um, and so that makes total sense. Yeah, <laughs> that right. makes total sense that this was Wild. board driven because he's just like, I'm gonna just start drawing and then everything's gonna come to me. It's almost like, you know, he's, I guess the, 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 the closest live action comparison you can make is an action movie where they don't really write the whole thing. They look at the set pieces and then they go from there. Um, I wasn't going to say what movie I was going to say no, that this reminded me of, but it's the Oscar winner that was about all the places, all the time, all at once. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Uh, 824 accepted yeah, all yeah, of yeah, 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 yeah. the And I can stri- say it, everything, everywhere, all at once. It yeah, reminded yeah, yeah. me a lot of that where yeah, it was yeah. like, I almost feel like if you had to write that out in a traditional sense, you wouldn't be able to come up with so much. Which, by the way, just yeah. real quick to, to, to clarify this, A24, which is an independent studio, accepted all the terms yeah. from SAG and the WGA, Hell meaning yeah. they are able to go back to work. So what a tiny indie studio did, giant conglomerates like Disney. Refuse to. Because they're Warner, about the Wall- art, Zach. They're not about the money. Yeah. Well. Just, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they made a smart financial they decision. A smart there you decision. Go. They're good business. It is, it is people who are willing, and it's a, because it's an indie, it's a smaller thing. They are, they are peop- these are people who are willing to build in the fact that this is going to be a loss. It also feels Rather mean. than the reverse with bigger companies, they're like, well, we're not going to lose more. It's just like, you should have built that in in the fucking first yeah, place. Totally. And then you wouldn't have felt this at and- all. Because it feels like A24 is new-ish to at least like the zeitgeist. Mm-hmm. And I feel mm-hmm. like they were like not built on these traditions into a bigger conglomerate yeah. studio mm-hmm. system yeah. that they were like, yeah, we can pivot. Well, they've yeah. also only been making so original good. content, I feel like, for like six years. Yeah. And before yeah, so that, they like were they, just acquiring shit. They're like, yeah, no, this is way better for everybody. And it doesn't affect us. Except yeah. for this, boss. it's just like yeah. oh, our our profit isn't going to be as like skyrocketing or like it's uh, it's not going to skyrocket as quickly as these traditional studios that yeah. are, are are fucking over and and fucking people over and pretty much exploiting labor. Yeah, hearing a movie made without a script makes my skin crawl. But yes. then when I think about how he works, it's like oh, he's just scripting it in a different way. He's different, yeah, he in a different is way. going. F- visual first storyboard yeah. first to let the story inform him right um, and i think that's really cool and it yeah. obviously shows in this work and oh, ab- absolutely. <laughs> obviously works i'm sorry i'm just going back on the detail stuff everything in yababa's office oh yeah i i i cannot like 
drawing that in general just feels so upsettingly uh, like I don't upsettingly talented. I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. Like how <laughs> all the little papers all and little, pens, the yeah. papers, and the pens, the amount of like emeralds and jewels that she's messing with. Yes. Every there was not a single thing that is the exact same color. Yeah, it, on that as um, you meant you do frame. all the jewels too on you. I mean, you Baba's yeah. wearing all yeah. these different yeah. rings, which just makes the animation so much more complicated. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, what a pain my, in the ass. Oh yeah. my god, the scene where she um where Haku. Um, says I know where your baby is and then she rushes up to him and like gets Ooh, all mad and her hair is yeah. in, around him and like, like she's fire breathing and all this stuff I was like dude why why are you shitting on us so hard I think that's yeah. what's so upsetting you're shitting on animation <laughs> yeah. so hard to where I mean it's a Baldur's Gate situation yeah, yeah. where it's just like man I don't think that this bar has really been met mm. in the years that it's come out mm-hmm Wow. They're just flexing too hard. He's, he's flexing too hard. He, mm. It's it's in in like me. I I would say your name comes. Ugh, I, I don't even want to. I've say never that. seen your name. It's fantastic. I know, and I'm I'm like a huge Studio Ghibli person, but yeah. that's one I haven't seen. And that's why everybody's is your name looking Ghibli? at Ghibli. No, no. Oh, it JK. Is, it's Who's not, it? It's JK. um one one second. Let me um, look up his name, and I'm going to butcher his name. Makoto Shinkai is his name. Yeah, I haven't seen um, that. But he he made your name and Suzume. Um, just recently, and mm -hmm. those those two are like just really good, and it's 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 going on the same air of like some of these things don't really make sense, but it doesn't matter because the lead is is following this right. and in this world that is so fantastical. In Suzume, it's about getting someone <laughs> who um, she liked, um, transforming them back from being a chair. Like a child's chair. Oh, it's so, it's just like shit doesn't. Oh man, yeah, it just doesn't, I fucking it doesn't love fuck, this but shit. But it doesn't matter because it's majestical. Yeah. And you're just watching this tiny chair no run around. No wonder you're so talented because, like, truly, I just have to think about how inspiring story wise this is. Oh like, my God. Remember mm. when Everything Everywhere All at Once came out and we were like, Dude, they, like make you, I'll never forget you were like, make weird shit. Like we just need to be making weird shit more. And like, you've grown up on this stuff. It's just like, like it's all weird. You've like, had every, no bounds. Every, every story has to be weird in my, yeah. <laughs> in my opinion. You've had no like, boundaries, like yeah. wild characters, like no fucking wonder you are who you are. No, thank it you. It makes but a lot the, of I, sense. I really just think that that those, that type of storytelling and all of those people on that side of the planet are really they're 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 killing us. <laughs> we should be required to watch anime in school. Wow! By the Garrick, way, that's absolutely the agree. greatest thing Garrick's ever heard. Yeah, I would I would lose my mind. I mean, there's yeah, also would... something like in this movie. The, and Garrick, I think that because you grew up with it too, and I guess you also said you saw it when you were 11. All the Studio Ghibli movies have a level of um, like depression as a reality. Yeah. It's really normal, right? right and I right. think that that uh, it's, also it's affects the music. It like bit. in this one, like she, her parents are gone. Whatever, she's moving to a new place. The her, her, one of her first lines is, "The first time I got flowers was as a goodbye present." How depressing! Yeah, and she's like pissed in the back. Yeah, Totoro is about these two girls losing their mom, <gasps> and then oh. a, f a magical creature takes care of them. Howl's Moving Castle also has this like weird sense of yeah. loss, and like yeah. they're all kind yeah. of. Um, it starts off with saying the it's oh, it's the world is harsh. It's yeah. okay to be sad. Right. It, here are the things that you have to overcome while being sad. Yeah. Wow. Giving you the blueprint to yeah. live. So there's a ton that would be inherent to a Japanese audience that it's not for yeah. us. Yeah. Um, the movie actually goes out of its way to help <laughs> Americans. Oh, thanks. In the dubbed version, they added some lines. Uh, for instance, characters very obviously stating what's happening on screen, mm -hmm. such as saying, oh, it's a bathhouse. <laughs> yeah. uh, because yeah. Japanese audiences would know that. Yeah. I saw that Miyazaki, uh, and it was in a quote, just grew up thinking that paintings of bathhouses were very mysterious mm -hmm. and yeah. it was cool and how fun to set a movie there. A, <laughs> a bathhouse for the spirits. Um, but there's a bunch more that I looked up that, uh, again, would maybe make sense to a Japanese audience, certainly didn't connect to me. <laughs> so uh, the parents turning into pigs <gasps> symbolize the nature during Japanese bubble economy of the 80s. Well, uh, of wow. course it does. And how it turned people and their pig-like consumption and habits transform them I knew into this animals. was going to come back to capitalism. It has to come back to capitalism. Yeah, it has to. It always does. Yeah, it always does. Yeah.
Um, there is a lot to do with different uh, uh, Japanese myths. Um, obviously, we're talking about spirits, right? So the whole representation yeah. of their spirits is based in mythology. Um, I mentioned the idea of being spirited away, but there's more. So Yubaba is based on the Japanese legend. Yamu, Yamaba. Oh, Yamaba? <laughs> Yamaba. How rude. Uh, which, uh, the legend <laughs> of a Japanese mountain, uh, according to the legend... <laughs> Uh, Yamaba, <laughs> Yamaba, <laughs> Yamaba. <laughs> they're old women Yamaba. that Yamaba. Uh, <laughs> Yamaba. <laughs> um, they're old women who can turn humans into animals with the intent to eat them. <gasps> wow. Yeah, we. But on the flip side, they're nurturing mothers who have children many times a year and care deeply for their families. Confusing. That makes sense. That's, That's why she confusing. has that big ass baby. I didn't yep. care so much about babies, but nine it animals was, couldn't it was, be me. It was very funny to watch her be like, her parents have to be big enough. Let's turn them into bacon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fatten them up. Yeah. Very Hansel and Gretel witch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, he said, uh, this is a quote from Miyazaki about the bathhouse. Uh, for me, a bathhouse is a mysterious place in town. The first time I saw an oil painting was in a bathhouse, and there was a small door next to the bathtub. I wondered what was behind that door. So I thought up a story about a young man the same age as Haraji-san, but it was rejected as well. <laughs> <laughs> oh. And then, yeah, I mean, like, because I'm like, how the fuck does your brain come up with this? And he's like, it would be fun if there were such a bathhouse. <laughs> Bathhouses yeah, are, think- the first time you go to one, I'm not going to lie, I got in trouble a lot. I didn't know what the fuck I was supposed to do. I didn't know I was supposed to like shower off before you go in this one certain thing. I didn't know you were supposed to like clean this other part. You're not technically supposed to have tattoos, but they're a lot more liberal now on letting people in with tattoos. It was just, it's, do your research. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, by the way, shout out to frog representation. <laughs> big frog guy. It's big frog time. I, uh, so like wow. I, th- I've seen so many like Edo paintings of frogs and they usually have like the sumo wear where uh, they yeah. have like the, the sumo diaper, <laughs> diaper or like the loincloth and all that stuff. Loin. So like, uh, like seeing this, oh, like it just made sense. It just tracked uh, for whatever reason. So. Fucking just, there's so many frog people. The yeah. whole staff of the yeah. the bathhouse is just, but different types of frogs. There's mm. like big toad like yeah. frogs. Body representation. Yeah, then yeah, there's yeah. like the little itty bitty frog. He's yeah. a short king. Loved him. Little <laughs> itty bitty frog. He got he gets fucked up the entire movie yeah. where he, he jumps up. He's like, Master Haku, a human. Yeah, <laughs> and yeah, he yeah, like yeah. puts him in a bubble. <laughs> it's like, Jesus Christ, what did I do? I just pointed out the obvious. I love that first scene. It's such good simple tension where they're like hey cross the bridge don't hold your breath. Breathe. Oh. Hold your breath. you have to hold your breath if you breathe they'll be able to see you yeah and it's just like oh that's what a good little yeah. simple yeah. setup yeah <sighs> i fucking love this movie those movies straight up pleasure it's uh it's not just a pleasure it's it's a it's iconic it's a yeah. classic it is art it is high art um, wow. it's just something that we are, uh, we're blessed to have. Yeah. I'm just looking through the gifts on Giphy of, I just typed in spirited away and I'm already like, Oh my God, I forgot about that. Oh wow. That scene was insane. Like yeah. there are so many iconic moments that where if you don't think you've seen anime before you have. Yeah. <laughs> I, well, and I'm sorry to keep like repeating ourselves, but as miles mentioned this, that like well. somewhat <laughs> slow, boring scene, you know, boring in quotes. It's not, it's captivating, no. but of them just mm-hmm. riding a train. Yeah. It's wild that one of the most visually iconic moments from this movie is, just is a little there. girl sitting on a train with no face. Nothing is happening. Yeah. The other passengers, by the way, there's so the much left. Pa- un- there's so much left yeah. unsaid in this too. I mean, yeah. it's sort of, we were talking right before we roll it about um, like opaque versus transparent storytelling. And like, honestly, we we're talking about video games, but in this, I also feel like a big difference between American and um, uh, American animation and anime. is There's a lot left unsaid. Like yeah. we're talking about the frog guys. That's not really talked about <laughs> yeah. at, all. Yeah. At, all. at all. You don't need to. No. It just it exists, it's, and it's like what the mystery of it is special enough. And I think it's it's. I mean, I I, I feel like the 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 premise of the movie of being spirited away, like just opens you up to so much world. It opens you up to so much stuff that you don't really have to explain, mm-hmm. so much like magical realism that you don't really have to explain at all. And it's it, in a weird way, it feels um, like you are in the literal imagination of a child mm-hmm. where like if you're sitting on a train, 
you don't notice yeah. anybody's faces. Like yeah. you're sitting on a train, everybody's faces are like blacked out. Yeah, yeah. Like who train cares? Can, I'm, I, I don't want to crane my neck high enough to see what this person's face looks like. Yeah. So if you if you close your eyes and think back on the time when you were a child and you were on the bus for the first time oh. or on the subway for the first time, do you remember anybody's face? Yeah. No. No. no, you don't. You didn't look up at all. You no. were looking at your. The only thing you remember are the people that were directly next to you, mm. and maybe the ticket taker's little shredder machine yeah. that was so fucking crazy. <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> you know, that was like it's like his little thing. It was like what a what a crazy detail yeah. and and a detailed piece of machinery mm -hmm. that I feel like would work. <laughs> yeah, I got one more. Yeah, oh. pretty cool. So after Chihiro gives the sludge monster a bath, the river spirit rewards. An emetic dumpling. The fuck is that? Mm. A medic is an ancient substance that induces vomiting only oh. used for people who swallow poison or, <gasps> in the case of spirited away, greedy desires and manipulative agents from lost spirits. Whoa. I was wondering what that stinky stuff was that they she like bit a little bit and was like, Bleh! and yeah. her face went, yeah. and it like zoomed in and she had little sweats and little like red cheeks. And I was like, that's anime. I love when her like <laughs> face, like when she smelled something bad, and, and it, it just like there was like a vibrates. shiver yeah. that oh, vibrated yeah. Yeah. through yeah. her body. Yeah, the cold yeah. chill. Yeah, this movie slaps. We love it. This yeah, movie, this enjoyed movie. talking about it. This movie fucking this slaps. Pee, pee all around. I think. Yeah. Right? Derek, you have tour dates coming up. Oh, I have tour dates coming up. Oh yes, I do. God. Yes, I fucking do. Um, Where so, are you going? Um, on September eighth, I am at the Biltmore Cabaret. Ooh, wait. Yeah, in, in North. In Vancouver. Oh, yeah, maybe oh. tell us the city. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so sorry. Um, I don't know how to do this. One I've never specific city was like yes. Yeah, I have no. I have no idea how to promote stuff, and I'm I'm doing it for the first time. So please You're bear with me. You're doing great. Um, so I am in uh, Vancouver, uh, Canada. In, wow. At the Biltmore Cabaret. Good. <laughs> in, yeah, sorry, no context, Love and it. it's Canada. <laughs> Wait, 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 what am I? You said Billboard Cabaret. We're like, oh, in like North Carolina. You're like, no, different country, actually. <laughs> you need you a been? passport for this. Yeah, it's I have been, I have been, I've been yeah, at that exact venue before. It's very pretty. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Where I've been else are you going? Vancouver, Canada, Billboard Cabaret <laughs> on September. We the got 8th. that one. <laughs> <laughs> Leave me alone. I'm at the Hereafter in Seattle, um, Washington. Uh, Seattle, Washington, September 10th. Okay. Seattle, Ohio. <laughs> Seattle, Ohio. <laughs> And then I am at the Polaris Hall in Portland, um, Oregon? September 12th, Oregon. Oh, yeah. Little Pacific Northwest tour. Watch yeah, Little Pacific Garrett. Northwest. And I'm hosting an anti-anxiety panic disorder retreat happening October 5th through 9th this year in Malibu, California. There are only a few spots left. And if you struggle with mental health disorders and you want to learn how to manage it while having fucking fun in a once in a lifetime experience wow. go to www.dontpanicretreat.com god damn okay well yeah um, it's just it's practice it's makes just perfect. practice makes perfect. pouring yourself out you'll get used to it yeah, yeah i got to zach anything you want to promote i made a tiktok where i <laughs> i did the number 69 <laughs> so a bunch and it didn't do well and i thought it should have done a lot better and i thought it was there's great. something going on with tiktok right now yeah no yeah, it's feel, their fault yeah I feel like, we'll, we'll talk about I it i feel like it i think they're miles they're, they're anything shift. hey guys i hope you have a really good day go yeah, watch our yeah, perfect nice. person episode perfect. check out me and kelsey's new episode of perfect person it was funny it's slapping i met up i met a perfect person at oh uh, i met someone who called in no really wow. yes and she said that uh she was someone who kissed her friends crush oh my god and she said now everything's worked out and they're all friends that's so funny yes shout out to you baby. weird yeah yeah perfect person i'm at corn day and all the things i'm at kelsey dare and all the things i'm at gary bernard and all the things and until next time uh, 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 uh,